welcome to another session of wireless communications and networks unit 5 wireless networking wireless networking right now we discussing about traffic routing in wireless networks traffic routing in wireless networks nothing but how to transmit data from one location to another location in a network here the what type of uh, traffic uh, routing thing it takes place we'll discuss in this topic here in day to day in day to day the transmission of data is increases that is initially we are sending a small sms after the sms stage we are going for emails after emails we are sending audio and video files now we are transmitting uh, the large 1 gb 2 gb large data through google drives right for every generation increase the type of uh, traffic can be increases here before uh, transmitting their data whether it is a continuous type or bursty type of data here continuous type nothing but total information can be transmitted at a time but bursty data nothing but we have total information can be divided into number of packets we have to transmit packets from transmitter to receiver here before transmission of data whether the uh, connection is required or not virtually in wireless networking right that's why we are going for traffic routing in wireless networking here what are the services can be takes place what are the protocols we have to uh, used and what are the call handling techniques are used we discussed in this top topic first one is connection oriented services connection oriented services nothing but a sequence of operation a sequence of operation followed by the user to transmit information that is we have to follow step by step method to transmit a data here what are the, that that is in connection oriented services contains three steps first one connection is established nothing but here what is the sender what is the receiver in a network first you have to find out based upon the addresses once the find address and connection established then we are go for second step information sh should be sent after completion of the information should be sent then we go for connection to be released connection to be released that is the three steps connection established information sent connection released right here in these uh, three steps right the best example for this connection oriented service is tcp transmission control protocol that, that that is the protocol used for connection oriented is tcp transmission control protocol but we are going for connectionless services nothing but there is no need for connection establishment there is no need for connection release directly you have to send the data which is just like similar to postal services how the postal services works based upon the address in the letter they can send they can send there is no particular connection can be takes place here in this connectionless service instead of transmitting a uh, sequence of data we are going for bursty in nature nothing but we have to divide the data uh, into number of packets each packet can be transmit different path but final reach to the receiver right here in this connectionless service we need authentication and the best example for this connectionless service is udp user datagram protocol user datagram protocol this is about connection oriented and connection less service this is the basic traffic routing types here what is the difference between this connection oriented and connection less service here in connection oriented service authentication is needed in connection oriented service authentication is needed while connection less service also also uh, check some of the authentication is need or not similarly in connection oriented protocol uh, 
you have to check whether the message is received or not. If it is not error coming, again we have to reset. While connectionless service uh, does not guarantee uh, to a message delivery. In connection only service more reliable than connectionless service. And that's why broadband we are using connection oriented only. And connection oriented service interface is a screen based and, and connectionless is message based. Says basic. Suppose you want to send an SMS through your mobile phone. Suppose the maximum 150 characters for one message. If you type more than 150 characters, it sends like second message. That's why one suppose more, uh, large message SMS received. I think by suppose it had two packets, one by two, two by two, like this. We are received the message. This is the difference between connection oriented and connectionless service. Right. Next, based upon this, the next uh, traffic routing type is circuit switching versus packet switching. Circuit switching versus packet switching. Here, this is the difference between circuit and packet switching, which is similar to connection oriented and connectionless service. Here in circuit switching, uh, having three phases, connection establishment, data transfer, connection released. But in packet switching, uh, directly transfer packets. No need to establish the connection, no need to release the connection. Here is circuit switching. Before transmission of data, first of all, know the entire path address. Know the entire path address, which is provided by the source. But in packet switching, each data unit just know the final destination address. No need source. Only final destination address. Uh, based upon this final destination address, the intermediate path can be decided by the routers. Right here in circuit switching, data is processed at source system only. But in packet switching, data can be processed into inter intermediate nodes also. Intermediate nodes, including source. Next, in circuit switching, delay between data units is uniform and in packet switching uh, delay uh, de delay is not uh, not uniform why because not uniform nothing but each and every packet having own path suppose one path goes from another another way other uh, packet goes from another way let's suppose we have to suppose uh, best example for this one uh, suppose three students are there enter into our university main gate here, uh, different parts are there from main gate to School of Engineering and Technology. That is, suppose uh, we will uh, main gate to Engineering College, goes to first step, first path is uh, admin, admin building, next physical sciences block, sericulture block, then Engineering College, this is the shortest route. Other path is admin building, humanities block, uh, music department, likewise. Another one is uh, goes to auditorium, and uh, go, goes to nursing college, examination block, again, humanities building, likewise, different paths are there. That is uh, different delays we are getting. That is about uh, packet switching. In circuit switching, resource reservation is a feature for the circuit switching because the path is fixed for the data transmission. That is, in circuit switching, uh, path is fixed for transmission of total data, but in pa packet switching, it is not a reservation. And circuit switching is reliable, packet switching is less reliable. And in circuit switching, wastage of resources are more, but in packet switching, less wastage of resources. And circuit switching is, a, is not a store and forward technique, that is why it is continuous transmission. But in packet switching, once the packet is received in the intermediate node, save then again forward that's why it is a store and forward technique it's a packet switching and in circuit switching transmission done by tra transmitter that is source uh, in packet switching transmission of the data done by intermediate nodes also intermediate rotors and if uh, in circuit switching is there any collision uh, can be takes place total information can be retransmitted but in packet switching, 
which packet is error the particular packet on the retransmits and the circuit switching uh, charging that is billing is depends upon the distance uh, but in packet switching charging is done based upon the number of bytes that is your internet connection and circuit switching recording of packet never possible but in packet switching recording of the packet is possible recording the packet is possible for this all types uh, for connection oriented we are using the best protocol tcp for connectionless we are using udp in sometimes we are using x.25 protocol for this traffic routing as here the x.25 protocol developed by cctt uh, now it is our also called the itut now present and this x.25 protocol which provides a connectionless network access which provides a connection network access for the lower three la three layers of osi model that is open system interconnection model that is network layer data link layer and physical layer here this x.25 protocol which provides a standard network interface provides a standard network interface between originating and terminating subscriber equipment that is dte and base station is also called as a data circuit equipment and msc is called as a data switching exchange that is in x.1 while we are applying x.25 the mobile station is called as a dte the base station is called as a dce the msc is called as a dsc here see this one this is exact hierarchy of x.25 protocol which is in usa model see this one first one is subscriber in it it is having seven layers of the osa model that is subscriber that is mobile station it is called the dte and second one is base station it is called the dce ms is called the dsc again base station are by subscriber that is subscriber to subscriber connection can be takes place through base stations and msc here uh, from subscriber to base station that is the dte to dce uh, with connection can be takes place layer 3 layer 2 and layer 1 here, what is the responsibility of layer one while applying x.25 is which uh, which can provides electrical, mechanical, procedural, and functional interface between DT, DTE and DC. That is, layer one provides electrical, mechanical, procedural, and functional interface between DTE and DC. Next, what is the responsibility of layer two? Layer two provides data link on the common air interface data link on the common air interface between subscriber and base station between subscriber and base station next the layer 3 responsibility is connection between base station and msc this is about uh, the responsibility of layer 1 layer 2 and layer 3 in a x.25 protocol here in the x.25 protocol which is implemented in wireless networking and which is implemented in packet switching packet switching here this is about traffic routing in wireless networking traffic routing in wireless networking do you have any query type your query in a chat box thank you thank you very much for attending this session